Okay guys, on today's video we will be tearing apart the EM100, the Voltol controller, to uh, figure out what happened to it and see what's inside and uh, see if there's any chance of me possibly reviving it. Okay, because I've gotten uh, a couple comments that have said, oh I'm glad I didn't buy a Tau Leo, I'm glad I didn't buy a Tau Leo. So you don't want to judge it on a Tau Leo. The Tau Leos are really, really nice bikes. In my personal opinion, they're, they're, they're tops. Uh, but if you ride them and store them like I do, it, it, then it's your fault. Like it's my fault. It's not Tau Motors fault. They built a good bike. I treated it like crap. Okay. So that's my fault. I bought it September 2020. Uh, I, I've never been nice to it. Let's just put it that way. I'm rough on bikes. I've been in three different accidents with it. Broke my leg during one of them. Uh, there's scrapes all up and down the side fairings. They're broken. I've broken numerous sets of mirrors. I've gone through a bunch of ignitions. I don't store it in a garage. I store it outside in the elements. I don't put it under a cover. So rain, snow, sleet, you name it. Pelting sun, it's it's on it all the time. So uh, when you see things like my controller the way it is and my bike looking the way it is, there, there's a reason. I ride it hard and put it away wet. Okay, I bought the thing to ride it, strip it, redo it, mod it, everything else. You know, like once it's all done, I got all my little mod parts and everything figured out. I will be stripping the thing down to the frame, redoing the whole entire frame and rebuilding the bike up from scratch. So, but that's that's future down the road but that's why I bought that bike uh, the Daymac EM2 does not have the same style it looks more like the MO zone which also does not have the same style as the Tauli okay the newer MO zones do uh, the older ones don't but uh, the, the MO zone uh, from what I've seen they've got like smaller wheels 16 inch from what I've seen and I've only got like a two kilowatt uh, power system powertrain uh, the, the, the Tau Leo, the reason I liked it is because it's a 3 kilowatt powertrain and it had 17 inch rims, which means it sits up just a little higher than the other ones, which I really, really liked. And it, it, it came in green. So, <laughs> you know, green Leo man, right? Okay, so uh, just figured I'd give a little back history on the bike. Uh, the reason why it looks the way it looks and I'm going through the problems I'm going through is because of the way I ride it and the way I store it. And just for an example, it just rained. There's my bike. Not covered by anything. Out in the elements. But without further ado, let's get down to this controller. Okay, so I've managed to pry it open. So we'll just get this off. And inside the lid, we've got some rubber seals and some. Uh, crisscross pattern on the plastic. I guess that's for strength. But yeah, all along the seam here, it was like welded on with this black guck stuff. Like I said, it was probably JB welded on. I've already taken the liberty of taking these screws out here. So uh, I have to take out these screws here and these four up here. Okay, now remove these bars. under okay so this is like rubber weird on top of the mosfets the mosfets are directly on the metal so that's nice so let's uh let's get this board out of here okay so i've got the controller out and i'm seeing something this i know what happened now this is the reason you don't let water get into your controller if you look up here in the metal you see all this crap up in here yeah, that's like a calcium deposit from all the water that's been getting in. So if we flip the board over in the same spot, you can see it. Like you can see this ring all around here, right, where the water sat. And if you look real close, like there is a lot of corrosion. And right here, there's some black. And then on top of that, I've got some unsoldering here and, and just that pin. God, can I get on that one? That pin is just awfully contaminated, and I mean, just all the way along. So, I mean, I could clean this up and try and revive it, 
and everything else and replace the caps and everything but I, I just I don't care I'm just gonna buy a new controller just for the hell of it I am actually gonna clean these up and see if I can replace those caps or see if the caps even still work I don't know but uh, that'll be a future video uh, I'm gonna clean this off camera and see if I can repair it and Put it back on my bike and see if my bike works. Just because I got nothing better to do. I gotta wait to order the controller anyway. So I might as well see if I can get this one working. And if for some reason fixing it doesn't work. Then, you know, I'll have an extra controller. For when the next controller goes for whatever reason. Then I'll, then I'll, I'll have all these parts. So if I blow a MOSFET or something on the next one. Well, look at that. I got a lot of MOSFETs. And that's the Voltol. EM100, what it looks like inside, and as you can see, there's there's a little bit of calcium stuff down here too, so it definitely had some issues. Okay guys, I hope you liked that video. Stay tuned. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try and repair it. Why not? I got nothing better to do, and uh, then I'll make a video of me uh, showing it repaired and putting it into my bike and seeing if it works. So stay tuned for that, and in the meantime, feel free to watch this video here. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.